Let's see the arterial tree of head and neck. The common carotid artery divides into external and internal carotid arteries. The external carotid artery terminates into superficial temporal and maxillary arteries. The anterior branches are superior thyroid artery, lingual artery, and facial artery. The medial or deep branch is ascending pharyngeal artery, and the two posterior branches are occipital and posterior auricular arteries. The internal carotid artery has no branches in the cervical part. The petros, cavernous, and cerebral part gives rises to many branches, the important ones are discussed here. The internal carotid artery divides to form the middle cerebral artery, and anterior cerebral artery. It also gives rise to posterior communicating artery, the ophthalmic artery, and anterior choroidal artery. Inside the skull, the two vertebral arteries join to form the basilar artery at the base of the pons. The basilar artery is the main blood supply to the brainstem and connects to the circle of Willis, to potentially supply the rest of the brain if there is compromise to one of the carotids. Vertebral artery gives rise to the anterior spinal artery. The basilar artery gives rise to anterior inferior cerebellar artery, superior cerebellar artery, and divides into posterior cerebral arteries. It also gives paromedian pontine branches. Let's now complete the circle of Willis.